the future martial arts man. Captain Pang Huayu said, It's only the 25th floor, but they dare to attack the Star Generals? Yao Yu replied, It's a collective rebellion. We're on our way to report it to the headquarters. We'll be going now. Captain Hong Yu, you should take precautions. Captain Pang Huayu then addressed Lu Sheng, Sir, the captain of the Red Snail team is rather cautious. What if we... Lu Sheng, casually killing a beast, responded, I know, don't worry about it. We don't have to go below the 25th floor this time. Even if we go deep within the spatial crack, considering the fact that I brought you here, I can take you out just the same. Captain Pang Huayu replied, Yes. Lu Sheng moved forward, effortlessly killing the beast ahead, shocking Captain Pang Huayu and the team in the background. They all looked on in amazement. As they reached the 25th floor, Lu Sheng said, we have finally reached the 25th floor, with my current power. As long as we don't encounter a legendary rank 9 otherworldly beast, there's no danger in sight. I remember the dense silver mine noted in the records. In his notebook he found the cave underlayer map and encircled the dense silver mine. He said, it's near. Concentrating, Lu Sheng used his psychic power to scan the area, saying, the 25th floor, 26th floor, 27th floor, 28th floor, 29th floor, 30th floor. Finally, he located the dense silver and exclaimed, Found you! He started running, instructing, Follow me closely. An orange-haired man called out, Sir, wait for us. A bald man remarked, Didn't he just say he doesn't need to go lower? They hurried through the 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th floors. Finally arriving at the 30th floor, Captain Pang Huayu watched Lu Sheng's swift pace, feeling dark energy around them, and instructed the others, We must stay as close to Sir as possible. Don't scatter! Lu Sheng suddenly stopped, spotting a huge deposit of dense silver. He quickly dispatched an otherworldly beast, using his power intensely to push the beast into the dense silver, causing it to crack. Lu Sheng instructed, go and collect the marrow fluid, and threw the beast aside. The team responded, yes, and began collecting. The bald man exclaimed, sir, it's dense silver, we're going to be rich. Lu Sheng responded, oh, is that so? Let's see. The team got excited, confirming, it's really dense silver, and it's very pure. Captain Peng Waiyu held a piece of dense silver, noting, the mineral vein must be considerable in size. The bald man exclaimed, we're rich. Ha 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 ha. Thinking to himself, it's so much, it's enough to drastically improve the equipment of the entire team. An older member Sasuke said, get the rank 7 otherworldly marrow fluid and drink it up. Ha <gasps> ha. I can finally get the rank 7 dense gold shield I've been eyeing for so long. The orange-haired man added, I can exchange them for a rank 7 combat suit. The bald man became enthusiastic, saying, What? Yes! Captain Pang Waiyu suddenly shouted at them, Shut up! The bald man asked, Captain, what's up with you? He looked at Lu Shong, realizing his mistake, and quickly apologized. Ah, uh, I, I didn't mean it. Forgive me slapping himself and begging, Sir, that wasn't what I meant. The team hastily returned the dense silver, pleading, Please forgive us. Captain Pang Huayu stated, We have done nothing to help, and Sir was the one to discover the dense silver. All the harvests are naturally his. The bald man agreed, It's totally reasonable. Lu Sheng replied, Being greedy is normal, I get it. They responded, We don't dare, and knelt on the ground saying, Thank you for understanding, Sir. No, I mean forgive us. Lu Sheng charged his energy, and Captain Pang Huayu pleaded, Sir, don't. Lu Shang used his psychic energy to slice the dense silver into cubes and made them levitate. He then asked, Why are you still standing still? Come and help move this. All of them, shocked, quickly complied. Ah, yes. Captain Pang Huayu remarked, Fortunately, Sir was tolerant with us and didn't get mad. Otherwise, I don't know what the consequences would have been. They began harvesting the dense silver cubes. The bald man commented, It's so strange, not to mention that I followed Sir here. Sasuke added, If it wasn't for Sir being here, I might have taken a little bit of the dense silver even if I didn't deserve it. Just now, I felt as if I was possessed by a ghost. All those shameless things came out of my mouth. Captain Pang Huayu said, Stop talking, get the job done. The bald guy said yes, and he said, Damn it. If only those two bags weren't given to the Red Snail team, who knows how much dense silver I could store in there. Right. You don't owe them a thing. Damn it, Lu Sheng said to himself. That's odd. They are known to be relatively close with the Red Snail team. Now, 
the two of them seemed to have completely forgotten about their previous generous and warm-hearted ways. That selfishness and harshness is so different from before, and they weren't like that before reaching the 30th floor. Looks like this black fog has its mysteries. Suddenly they saw footprints at the ground. Lu Sheng and Captain Pang Hua Yu was confused and was on alert. And they hear someone saying, it, is.food.it.is.food.it, is.food. Lu Sheng said to himself, are these the madmen that Hong Yu spoke of? The ones who cultivate in secret within the spatial crack. And it continues to say, it, I is dot if food. And he continues to tell himself, not to mention, this aura, it's truly wicked. As he sensed them all walking towards them, Lu Sheng said, Come on then, here's the one-time solution. It's much better than finding you one by one on the way back. That would be so annoying. The dense silver was piled up. Captain Pang Hua Yu helped pack it, and they all said, Finally, we're almost done. Lu Sheng remarked, There's so much more. Thank you for helping out, everyone. After we leave this place, I'll give you your 10%. The bald man exclaimed, Whoa! Thank you, sir. Captain Pang Hua Yu said, Thank you, sir, but we don't deserve this reward, so there's no need to give us anything. Lu Sheng insisted, I don't care whether you think you deserve it or not. Since I'm willing to offer it, you'll have to accept. They all responded, Yes, thank you, sir. Lu Sheng thought to himself, When you're weak, your anger results in nothing. But when you're powerful, even your good intentions can't be turned down. He. Suddenly, Captain Pang Waiyu sensed something and shouted, Sir! Enemies! Lu Sheng responded calmly, I know, I was waiting for them. Eyes watched them from the dark. Suddenly, a group emerged and one of them sneered, Ugh! New dot fresh dot meat. The bald man shouted, It's them! They're martial masters. Sasuke questioned, Why did they show up here? Captain Pang Waiyu assessed, Judging by their appearance, they must be the rumored martial arts madmen. They were probably the ones who attacked the Red Snail team and caused them to lose contact. Damn it, those cannibalistic monsters usually act alone. Since when do they form groups? Lu Sheng speculated. There's only one possible reason why someone capable of commanding them has emerged among their ranks. A king, Captain Pang Huayu exclaimed. What? A king? Someone began to clap slowly. He said, you're smart and strong. You must be the most delicious one. I'll become stronger after devouring you. A madman said, Lu Moying, this boy is yours, but the rest are for us. Lu Moying responded, Of course I only eat the best. Captain Pang Huayu shocked asked, Lu Moying? The late Eastern Star, didn't you perish over ten years ago? Lu Sheng inquired, Do you know him? Captain Pang Huayu explained, Sir, you arrived late so there are things you aren't aware of. Back then, only the top talents of the Eastern Military Division were called Eastern Stars. Lu Moi was ranked third in the overall ranking list, with 13 stars of combat power. But more than 10 years ago, he mysteriously vanished during a surge suppression mission in a spatial crack. Everyone thought he was dead. Who would have thought he's been using the flesh of his fellow masters to survive all this time? The bald man panicked. What? If he had 13 stars of combat power more than 10 years ago, how scary would he be now? Sir only has 12 and a half stars. Are we doomed? Captain Pang Huayu snapped. Shut up. He's not received the proper resources for over 10 years. It's possible that his power has declined with time. He might not be at his peak anymore. Lu Moying laughed. Ha ha ha. So funny. Are you trying to make me laugh? Resources? Aren't my resources already available? Now, I'm not interested in talking with my food. It's almost time for dinner. You should be thanking me for letting you see me in this form, humans. A tornado formed, and they all felt the intense winds while Lu Sheng stood silently. Lu Moying suddenly grew horns and laughed. Captain Peng Huayu gasped, Ah, what is this? Lu Moying declared, Power is surging out. Yes, that's the feeling. That Eastern Star title. It was a long time ago. Back then, I was as weak as an ant. But because of the spatial crack surge, I fell deep inside and in my despair received divine guidance. Lu Sheng asked, Divine? What do you mean? Lu Moying explained, The core of martial arts is to make yourself stronger through various means. He's right. Since martial artists can become stronger by feeding on otherworldly beasts, then feeding on other martial artists must be even better martial arts food. Lu Sheng asked, He? Who's that? 
Lu Moying laughed and said, Ha ha ha. Eastern star? I'm now the eastern sun, wicked sun. One day, my brilliance will escape this spatial crack and cover the earth's surface. Lu Sheng said, I've asked you twice now, are you deaf? Ah, it looks like you didn't hear a word. Whatever, I'll go down and find it myself then. Lu Moying said, What on earth is this pressure? Suddenly, green liquid splattered everywhere as Lu Sheng cut Lu Moying into tiny pieces, causing him to explode. Lu Sheng asked, If you're the sun, then what does that make me? A monster was shocked and said, What? This, Lu Sheng said, So weak, you can't even handle one attack. Captain Pang Huayu thought to herself, The man who was previously named the Eastern Star, known for his power that exceeded 13 stars, was so easily defeated. It was as if he was killing a mere fly. How strong is Sir actually? The monster suddenly ran and shouted, Run! Run quickly! Lu Sheng raised his hand and made a chopping motion. Immediately all of the monsters were decapitated and mutilated in an instant. The bald guy said, This is 50. The so-called 12 stars of combat power is simply what he wants the world to see. Captain Pang Huayu thought to herself, He's able to handle all of them on his own. This time our Eastern Military Division will be on top of the competition. Lu Sheng said, the floor is almost cleared. So please, wait here for a bit. Captain Pang Huayu was shocked and said, Ah, sir. As Lu Sheng jumped away and moved fast, Lu Sheng thought to himself, What is the divine, and what's the identity of the one he called he? A few moments later, at the spatial crack steps, Lu Sheng stopped and said, It's so quiet here, a bit too quiet even. The black fog is so dense, it will be hard to explore this region with rank 7 or even rank 8 psychic energy. If someone weaker came here, wouldn't they be left completely blind? Should I just force my way in like that? A bright light shone. Lu Sheng thought to himself, huh? And he was transported to another place. Suddenly, a beautiful foot with golden anklets touched the water. Lu Sheng thought to himself, what? This is. And he was in awe. He continued thinking, an otherworldly being? Interesting, there's an intellectual life form here, and it looks like she is curious about me as well? Does she like humans? He began to get closer to her and said, Is that love across species? As he touched her hand. Suddenly he felt something in his temple and his vision got blurry. The beautiful woman became an ugly beast. She said, Don't be afraid. Come, don't mind my looks. Come key quickly. Here resides everything you desire. Yes, that's it. Come, join me, adore me. Come into my arms, my dear child. She showed him her tongue. Lu Sheng suddenly charged his aura in his palm and instantly cut the beast as she shouted, Ah! Lu Sheng said, Such a scary creature you are, but I tricked you and you believed me. Take that, she said. I despise disobedient children. Kill, kill, I'll kill you, catch him. Ah! In another scene, Captain Peng Waiyu said, It's really Lu Moying. His identification is still here, as the others picked up the loot. The orange-haired guy said, This is the Chao Yu Marshal School's master. The bald guy said, This is Thunder Marshal School's Hong Feng. Their headmaster is here. Captain Pang Hua Yu said, Keep their identification and we'll report this matter upon our return. Nearly 30 masters have died in one go. This is probably the largest bloodshed among masters in these recent few years. The bald guy said, they're all dead from a long time. They simply died once again. We can't call them good people. Captain Pang Huayu said, Yes, you're right. Suddenly, Lu Sheng arrived. Captain Pang Huayu said, Sir, you're back. Lu Sheng said, Quick, pack up. We're leaving the spatial crack immediately. And Hong Yu, find a way to notify the other teams in the spatial crack. Tell them to escape quickly. Captain Pang Huayu said, Sir, what's going on? Lu Sheng said, Nothing. It's just that I angered some little creatures within the spatial crack by accident. They're now rioting. The creatures ran towards them, and they heard voices shouting in the cave, Kill! Kill them! Kill! Repeatedly. As they ran away, Lu Sheng said, Quickly! They ran even faster and jumped towards the exit. Lu Sheng thought to himself, Three big bags of dense silver. We're finally back on the surface. Looking down the hole, Lu Sheng said, Whoa! Fortunately for us, they can't climb up. Captain Pang Huayu said, Sir, what did you do that could cause a huge surge? It's good that the beasts were too many. If they grouped up properly, they could greatly affect us. Lu Sheng said, It's nothing, no need to worry. Let's transport the goods to the base. 
The others, happy carrying the bags, said, Yes. They walked away with smiles on their faces, saying, We're going back. Lu Sheng thought to himself, That bug actually tried to trick me. I would be angry right now too. But one day, I'll make sure that bug crawls in front of me, and I'll give it a nice uppercut. I guess it'll get even angrier then, right? In a different scene at the Eastern Military Division headquarters, the people were shocked and said, Heavens, Tiger Scorpion team, you're so lucky. You actually discovered a dense silver mine so quickly? A person with a magnifying glass looked at the dense silver and said, It is not only top quality extraordinary, but its purity is also a fortune. The three of them laughed in sync and said, It is. Yao Yu said, It's not just luck. Didn't you see the first vehicle's license plate? DZ0002, the vehicle of the first grade expert. An old guy was so shocked that his eyes went white. Another said, What? Could it be that unknown young man is the expert? Yao Yu said yes, we all got it wrong. That was the real boss, if only I held on to his leg, I could also win. Yao Yu was in sorrow, as his snot and tears formed. The bald guy said, although Sir Lu displays his power as if it's only twelve and a half stars, those stars are not his full power. We estimate that. Sir has more than twenty stars. Yao Yu and his snail team were shocked and said, huh? Five minutes later, at Lu Sheng's residence, Lu Sheng said to them, Take care of the goods from the spatial crack. When it's all done, you'll get your 10% as agreed. You can go now. Captain Pang Huayu saluted and said, Yes, sir. At Lu Sheng's bedroom, Lu Sheng said, Let's see what's in this abyss and about that monster. He pressed the spatial crack information. Suddenly, multiple pieces of information appeared, and he said, Ah, so it's connected to the second battlefield. The abyss is a space split that forms when two worlds overlap and collide. These splits can be different. If the formation is relatively complete, then a gray zone will appear. That zone will be large enough to accommodate otherworldly masters. The information said, Gray zone, second battlefield, two types of beings of different levels, spaces, or even universes, for some reason they unexpectedly overlay and collide. That is, the source of the otherworldly beast invasion? But it's obvious that the otherworldly beast world is much more powerful than ours. They can be seen in the power gap between us. As a result, the beasts can easily invade our world. On the contrary, it's so hard for us to reach other worlds. No wonder I absorbed the memories of so many zombies. There are a small number of times when rank 10 or rank 11 masters have taken action, and masters of the Eastern Evil Sun's level have only been heard of. So they all went to the second battlefield to fight against the monsters that came from another world. So many strong men have gone to the battlefield one after another, with the beasts also changing with time. That's the big struggle for the next 10,000 years of history, the tension between the two civilizations reaching its peak, that it ends up depending on the might of their best fighters, and in the end, of course we lose. That's why we have been trying to give birth to a rank 12 through Project Spark. If rank 12 is reached, would we have a chance to win this time, or maybe maintain our advantage? To estimate the result is a hard task, but to enter the second battlefield, you must be at least rank 10. I'm currently in year 300 MC. The second battlefield hasn't opened yet, it's not that related to me. No, if I reach rank 11, even rank 12, could the abyss be annihilated, killing those top fighters one by one, and crushing them all? He began to glow in gold as his aura burst like a nuclear bomb and shot at the dream space and beamed in the sky. Lu Sheng said, My martial arts broke through. Is this because of my goal becoming clear? Looks like it's feasible. I must do my best to reach rank 12 as soon as possible. I'll enter the second battlefield, fight into the other world, and end this catastrophe right from its source. At the last phase, Lu Sheng said, I won't let this war drag on for 10,000 years. The catastrophe which caused the civilization to collapse, now in 300 MC, I'll put an end to it. At Lu Sheng's mansion, Butler Wang and Li Dai the maid walked together. Lu Sheng asked, what's going on? Butler Wang responded, sir, and then looked at Li Dai. He continued, this is a special gift, Ling Chuan's Dragon Well Green Tea. Please try it. Lu Sheng immediately drank the tea and thought to himself, oh, it actually contains an odd energy. Interesting. I didn't think I had progressed so far that someone would send me such tea. Suddenly, Butler Wang clapped and said, sir. The rank 7 weapon you requested to be modified last time has been completed. Please, take a look. Lu Sheng used his power and said, 
Oh, is it done so quickly? He retrieved it from the air. The spear sparkled and he remarked, It's really good. It's not just a simple rank 7. It feels closer to rank 8. A satisfactory result. Lu Shang then said, I brought back a lot of silver with me this time. Please help me make another weapon. I'll provide you with the design later. Butler Wang replied, Yes, sir. Lu Sheng continued, Li Dai, please see Butler Wang off. I'm going to invite some friends later. Please prepare some food and wine. Li Dai said, Yes, sir. And they both left the room. As they walked, Butler Wang said to Li Dai, Your fortune is good. You got to meet someone like sir. Li Dai blushed and responded, Yes, sir. Butler Wang walked away saying, Work hard and don't let sir down. You may have a chance to succeed in the future. As Li Dai blushed and felt a sudden wetness, she noticed someone behind her laughing. The voice said, Hey, hey, Li Dai, don't be scared. I'm your parents' old comrade in arms. I held you in my arms when you were little. Are you working for Lu Sheng? Are you interested in a little talk with me? Li Di felt lost and was silent, doubting the hooded man, but eventually said, Okay, as she began to sweat. In a different scene, at the Eastern Third War Zone airport, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu waited. Suddenly, Heng Yu looked her up and down and said, Oh, a beauty. He eyed her chest and thought to himself, The aura, she's just my type. Good. He then asked, Hey, which war zone are you from? Which division? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu glanced at her stars and responded, A general of seven stars. She then saluted and said, Senior Colonel Dong Ching Shu, under the command of Lieutenant General Yu Fei Yi of the 1182nd Division of the 9th War Zone. Greetings, General. He replied, Yu Fei Yi, I don't know him, but I know your 9th War Zone General. Come have dinner with me tonight and bring your general as well. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu looked away and said, Forgive me, sir. I'm waiting for someone. I have plans for tonight. He persisted, Skip it. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu responded, I can't. He would be very angry if I missed it. He then showed off his aura and said, then let him come along. I'm very interested in meeting someone in the third war zone who can stir up more trouble than me. Suddenly, someone placed a hand on his shoulder and laughed, saying, ha 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 ha, sure, let me show you. Hang Yu was shocked and asked, who are you? The white-haired man replied, Eastern Military Division General. Is that all you have? Hang Yu screamed like a girl. Ah, as he was thrown against the wall. The white-haired man eared, you still want to seduce my little sister? Ha, waste. As a big brother, I don't agree. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu said, big brother. His demeanor softened and he said, oh, little sister, I haven't seen you in a long time. I didn't expect you would become even prettier. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu said, since you're here, I'll head back. He chuckled and said, you're the same as ever, keeping people at a distance, ha ha ha, fine. Go back and tell all of your Eastern Military Division Masters that I, Dong Shengji, am coming. In another scene at the pub, it was lively as Lu Sheng and Major Qin Xiaojun sat at the bar. Lu Sheng asked Major Qin Xiaojun, Dong Qing Shu went to the third war zone to pick someone up? Major Qin Xiaojun replied, Yes, so unfortunate. Lu Sheng pondered, Dong Qing Zhu, does she have a friend there so much that she had to go pick that person up? Major Qin Xiaojun said to the waitress, Bring us more hell to pay, and pointed at Lu Sheng. The waitress happily replied, Okay, Qin Xiaojun continued, It's not a friend but a relative. It's her half-brother, Dong Shengyi. He's a terrifying martial arts talent, just like you. He's the most promising disciple of the martial saint. We could even call him the successor. Lu Sheng responded, Is that so? Then, he's amazing. Qin Xiaojun observed, Judging by your reaction, you don't seem to think so. Lu Sheng asked, is it that obvious? Qin Xiaojun leaned in. Hey, I know you've reached 12 stars of combat power already, and you're very talented and proud of it. But let me tell you, you have to stay alert. Dong Shengyi is not just any ordinary person. The martial saint's successor is no joke. And not only that, Dong Qing Shui has another big brother named Dong Potian, who's ranked first in the Central Military Division star ranking. His combat power is at 27 stars, and he's even nicknamed the Central Eastern Emperor. That's more than twice your combat power. Can you imagine it? Lu Shang mused. So, Instructor Dong's big brother is the Central Eastern Emperor? Suddenly, Qin Xiaojun grabbed Lu Sheng's shoulders and exclaimed, Oh no, are you feeling nervous, brother? If you want to date Dong Qing Shu, you must pass the tests of her brothers. Your road won't be smooth, you must be careful. 
Lu Sheng retorted, Ah, who said I want to date her? Qin Xiaojun smirked, Are you still trying to fool me? You're an adult now, why are you hiding? Dong Qing Shu doesn't hide it from me anymore. Lu Sheng quickly asked, What? What did she tell you? Qin Xiaojun teased, Why so anxious? You've been exposed. Ah, Lu Sheng, I knew it. You're truly a strong martial artist, but when it comes to love, you're a greenhorn. I can see through you in an instant. Lu Sheng pressed, Right, so what did Instructor Dong admit to you? Qin Xiaojun grinned, Hey, hey, what would you like it to be? Okay, I won't tease you any longer. She's interested in you. But, he pointed a finger at Lu Sheng. Boy, she must have wanted to speak to you about it the last time she asked you out for dinner. But you actually stood her up. You're terrific, Lu Sheng thought to himself in shock. Ah, so that's IAT. Qin Xiaojun poured another glass of cheap table wine. However, don't worry. I know her very well. It's usually hard for her to change her mind once she's decided on something. That won't stop her. As I already said, the issue is her brothers, Dong Shengyi and Dong Potian. He handed Lu Sheng the glass. Suddenly, a person entered the pub and exclaimed, Dong Shengyi is incredibly strong. On the first day after arriving at our Eastern Military Division, he already defeated Heng Yu, who's ranked first on the Star General ranking, and Ji Shun, who's second. His bald friend added, with both of them down. Who else can be his equal? The person continued, Yes, they say he's returned with the mission to fight his way through the four major military divisions and prove he's the best martial artist. That's his path to becoming. A saint, his bald friend scoffed. Martial saint would be an exaggeration. There are many masters besides him. There must be someone who can deal with him, ha? Huh? Qin Xiaojun chimed in. Has Dong Shengyi already made his move? And with the Eastern competition coming up, this guy is arrogant enough to come and challenge us at such a moment. The martial saint's name holds power. The division probably can't do anything to him. He then took a sip of his strong drink. Qin Xiaojun turned to Lu Sheng. You have to be careful. Dong Shengyi claims that he has the power to defeat the Eastern masters. And according to the ranking, it's your turn soon. And with your connection to Dong Qing Shu, he'll definitely target you. Lu Sheng frowned. What connection is there? Qin Xiaojun raised an eyebrow. What do you mean? Do you want Dong Qing Shu to speak up for you so Dong Shengyi doesn't target you? Lu Sheng firmly replied, Of course not. I was thinking that Dong Shengyi came to the military division because he wants to take this chance to challenge the Eastern Masters and improve his own martial arts. That's important for his future development on his path to becoming a martial saint. And he's Dong Qing Shu's big brother, so, a brother in law. Lu Sheng trailed off. Major Qin Xiaojun responded, Oh, so what? Lu Sheng explained, if he meets me and I defeat him, he would be left broken before he could reach his potential, and his chances of becoming a martial saint would be shattered. Dong Shengyi will regard me as his mortal enemy. It will be hard for Instructor Dong to be caught between the two of us. In the future, Dong Po Tian might also face the same situation. Who knows, our relationship might be strained from then on. Ah, I'm conflicted. Major Qin Xiaojun confused asked, Moon, what? Lu Sheng replied, what? Qin Xiaojun blushed and closed his mouth. Damn, when it comes to showing off, you're the best, Lu Sheng. You got me. Lu Sheng sweating insisted, I'm serious. Qin Xiaojun gave him a thumbs up and said, yes, yes, I get it. Meanwhile, on the other side of the military district, something exploded and Dong Xingyi brushed off the dust on his shoulder. Ha, so weak. Is that all you've got? He scoffed. His opponents, struggling to recover, muttered, so, strong, he's too strong, all from the top ten were defeated. Now, what do we do? Suddenly, Dong Shengyi casually walked toward Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingzhu. Dong Qingzhu, he greeted her. She responded, Dong Shengyi. Suddenly, a girl interjected, I'm here too. Senior brother Dong has been hiding his power for 20 years. Now that he's returned, he'll dominate everyone. Hello, big sister Qingzhu. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu acknowledged her. Miss Lin Wan Wan, it must be important if you've arrived together with my big brother. Lin Wan Wan quickly hugged Dong Ching Shu's arm. Of course, big sister Ching Shu. I'm doing a study on otherworldly beasts. I need a lot of samples for experimentation, so I followed senior brother Dong. I need your help, big sister Ching Shu. I want to ask for help from the Eastern Military Division, but I can't do it with just senior brother Dong. Dong Shengyi interjected. Are the Eastern Military Division's people useless? They have no skills. Except for that first one, Sun Haoyu, who had a tiny trace of skill at least. 
Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu corrected him. It's Sun Heng Yu. Dong Shengi dismissed her. It's all the same. If they can't handle three moves from me, their name isn't important. Oh, by the way, Junior Sister Wan Wan should have told you that we're here to go down the spatial crack. I need your help as a psychic mentalist. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu thought to herself while glancing at Lin Wan Wan. Lin Wan Wan. A very common name. But her mother's name is actually well known in the Dragon Nation. Marshal Saint Lin Zheng Yu. She then asked them, which spatial crack are you going to? How many floors are you planning to explore? Dong Shengyi replied, it's of course the SS rank one and the lower we go the better. The stronger the beast, the more valuable the sample is. Don't underestimate the importance of Wan Wan's research. If it's successful, the entire martial arts world might undergo drastic changes. And my chances of becoming a martial saint might depend on her. Lin Wan Wan blushed and said, Senior Brother Dong is teasing me again. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu silently held her pendant and then said, Fine, as long as you promise me one thing, I'll help you. Dong Sheng Yi said, A promise? Sure, whatever you want. Also, aren't you going to become a master soon anyway? I can. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu interrupted, It's not related to martial arts. Are you actually planning to defeat everyone in the ranking? Dong Sheng Yi replied, Yes, although they're weaklings. Since I'm here, I might as well warm up a little. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu blushed and said, Well, then you'll have to skip the fourth. Dong Sheng Yi asked, The fourth one, who is that? Right, it's Lu Sheng, the ninth war zone's twelve stars. Suddenly, Dong Sheng Yi got close to Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu and said, Is this what he gave you? Interesting, such pure martial arts will. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu became angry and said, Give it back. Dong Sheng Yi tossed back the gift that Lu Sheng had given and said, Heh, you still have the same bad temper as when you were a kid. You can't handle any jokes. But since you mentioned him, I'll do as you wish and skip him. Not only in this competition. After I conquer all of the five military districts, he will have to withstand one of my attacks. Only then will I recognize him and stop interfering in your matter. The dreams of the weak never end, ha ha ha. Otherwise, even if you like him, it won't work out between you two, got it? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu fell nervously silent. Dong Shengyi said, I might not be so cruel, but Dong Poqian is not that simple. Do you recall that Qing kid who lived next door when you were young? He wanted to pursue you but almost got beaten to death on the spot by Poqian. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu was shocked. Dong Shengyi continued, Think about this carefully. Not every big brother is as reasonable and nice as me. Suddenly, Miss Lin Wan Wan held the hands of Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu and said, Big Sister Ching Xu, don't worry. I'll make sure Senior Brother lets him go. I won't let him get hurt. Dong Shengyi said, Lin Wan Wan, if you fall in love one day, that boy will be in an even more pathetic situation. Your mother is a martial saint, and you have many senior brothers who are masters. She responded, My mom listens to me, and my senior brothers listen to my mom, so there's no worry, right? Dong Shengyi said, Let's go to the war zone. I will defeat all the masters of the Eastern Star General, ranking within three days. After that, get ready, as we'll enter the spatial crack. Lu Sheng, ha ha ha, I'll remember that name. In a different scene at the dream space, Lu Sheng said, I never realized that Dong Ching Shu had such important figures around her. One has five stars, and the other has six. Dong Cheng Yi is a good talent, and Dong Po Qian is even a rank nine martial saint. It's not rare to be stuck at rank 8 for hundreds of years, but still, he's a natural talent. A martial saint. There have been so many martial saints appearing in the past 10,000 years. The three martial saints in the Dragon Nation can't even be considered in the grand scheme of things, let alone one Dong Po Tian. Lu Sheng thought about Dong Ching Shu, and he dreamed in his dream space about her. He said, In this world, more than 90% of men wouldn't be able to say they don't have feelings for someone like her. When we're young, we all had crushes on teachers, whether they were women or men. The hormones and admiration quietly planted like a seed into our foolish hearts. Of course, most of such seeds die before they even break the surface. This subtle feeling fades away with time and vanishes like smoke as soon as you try to grasp it. Maybe. My feelings for her also began the moment I saw her suitors. Is it all fate? In that case, let's practice a bit, then earn some money after I wake up. If Dong Shengyi comes to find me, I can let him go after defeating him with just a few moves. I'm sure my act won't be exposed. 
I'll be seeing my future brother-in-law all the time so I have to be respectful. Three days later, Lu Sheng took out his new Chinese phone and said, Zhang Dan Dan, Yang Yuan, I won't bother her if she's no longer in the suitor's section. On his new Chinese phone, he looked at the contacts of Zhang Dan Dan, he Ling Su, Yang Yuan, and he Ling Su, and he said, I haven't contacted her in a while. He sent a message to he Ling Su, and at 3.20 p.m., he sent the message saying, Are you here? She immediately replied within two seconds and said, I was just looking for you for a report. Ling Sheng Pharmaceutical has. Suddenly, a barrage of messages was sent by he Ling Su. Lu Sheng said, Damn it, she's bombarding me with information. Lu Sheng then said, Can you really marry someone like that? You're rushing to report work to me like this? Whatever, I can't continue this conversation. He Ling Su sent a word file named Report. Lu Sheng replied to her saying, It's gotten cold recently. Please stay warm and don't overwork. Your health is more important. Lu Sheng said to himself, I should pay her some attention. He Ling Su's phone suddenly dinged and she said, Oh, what's going on? Lu Sheng actually told me something nice. She was shocked and felt weak in her legs. Lu Sheng said, Oh? Suddenly his new Chinese phone dinged. He looked at her messages and sighed. Ugh. Lu Sheng then said, By the way, it's been three days. Why hasn't Dong Shengi shown up yet? He looked at an article about Dong Shengi and said, He defeated all the masters of the Eastern Military Division, and except for Sun Heng Yu, the leader of the Seven Sons, they all lost in one move. The article says, Dong Xingyi dominates the Ninth War Zone, an unstoppable force. Lu Sheng continued, he clearly fought all of them but didn't come to find me the fourth in the ranking. Interesting, it's on purpose. Are you letting me off the hook this time? It must have been Dong Qing Shu who did this. I didn't think I would be excused like that. Since you give me face for your little sister, I'll also give you face for my wife. If you don't provoke me, I won't beat you up. It's time to go to the spatial crack again. There are still a few days before the Eastern Military District competition. Not only does it cost money to build weapons, but in the future, I'll also need money for marriage, a dowry, a wife, and kids. Lu Sheng stood up and said, Li Dai, pack my stuff, I'm going on a mission. Li Di responded, yes sir. In another scene at the SS rank spatial crack, Miss Lin Wenwan landed on the ground and said, it's a bit cold here. Dong Shengyi remarked, if you had put more effort into your martial arts, you wouldn't feel the cold. The your good genes are wasted. Lin Wanwan replied, not everyone wants to pursue the path of martial arts. I don't feel the cold anymore. And she laughed like a Buddha. Ha ha. Dong Shengyi said, it's similar to what that kid gave you, but its value is drastically different. The martial saint's will contained inside is incomparable. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu thought to herself, I feel like this one is much better. Dong Shengyi said, let's get started. You'll help explore the abyss. No need to do anything else. I'll be dealing with all the beasts. Lin Wanwan shouted, Go, go, go. At the ES rank spatial crack, Lu Sheng said, Last time I visited during the night and during the day, I can tell it's much less eerie and creepy now. Fear originates from being weak. When you're strong enough, all the monsters standing in front of you won't matter. One punch can defeat them all. I wonder if that being within the spatial crack is still there. Does it only exist in that double A rank spatial crack or is it in every spatial crack? He jumped and continued while free falling. It's not that I'm afraid. The last time I tested them, I could tell it's just a paper tiger. Even if you're stronger than me, you can't do anything about the distance. Otherwise, why would you try using such tricks to lure me in? As he dropped to the ground, he said, If I encounter you, I'll just retreat as soon as possible. I wonder what Dong Ching Shu is doing. In another scene, Dong Shengyi cut down a beast while Lin Wanwan cheered for him. Dong Shengyi said, Good. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu used her psychic energy to scan the whole area saying, There are no other beasts around us. She used her skill, perception high visualization, and said, You can work at ease. Lin Wanwan put on her mask and gloves and said, Got it. She took a sample of the beast and remarked, Such a potent blood sample. It's a rank seven indeed. The source of a warrior's force is their physique. Every part of it is considered their weapon. Unlike those trashy generals of yours, I practice with cold weapons to refine my skills. Dong Shengyi turned around showing off and said, If it didn't help achieve faster development in breaking the physical form, I wouldn't bother to use the blade. After all, the blood of these beasts is dirty. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu said, Help with the collection or just shut up. No one likes your show-off speeches. 
Dong Shengyi responded with a short laugh, Ha! Later, Dong Shengyi killed all the beasts in their path, and they reached the depths. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu thought to herself, Actually, I should be happy having such a strong big brother. But thinking about what he wanted to do to Lu Sheng, I can't help but be irritated. This one could get hurt in here. Suddenly, a shard almost hit Dong Shengyi. Dong Shengyi exclaimed, Xing Su, why didn't you warn me of this? If it wasn't for my intuition, I could have perished. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu replied, Forgive me, I didn't see it. Besides, this was too small for you to die even if you got hit. You could get heavily injured at most. Dong Shengyi retorted, You, he sighed, Ha, you're unreasonable. Later, Dong Shengyi almost got hit again and again as he evaded the shards. He shouted, Dong Qingshu, what on earth are you doing? Do you want to kill me? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu said calmly, I didn't see it. Dong Shengyi, frustrated, said, Nonsense, you're deliberately leading me into it. You forced me into this. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu responded with a hint of sarcasm. Oh, is that so? I really didn't see it. Forgive me, I'll be more careful next time. Dong Shengyi muttered. Scary, truly scary. You, you're not even married yet, and you're already acting ridiculously? You dare betray your own big brother. What does that say about the future? Lin Wanwan tried to comfort Dong Shengyi, but he said, Wan Wan, when you fall in love in the future, don't be like her. She's heartless. At the 34th floor, Dong Shengyi killed the beasts. A few moments later, he shouted, Again! He took a light scratch and said, Dong Ching Zhu, jokes must not go overboard. If you get me hurt, none of us will be able to leave safely. There are only rank 8 beasts here. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Zhu, surprised, said, I didn't see it. Dong Shengyi, shocked, said, You! Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu insisted, I truly didn't see it this time. This one just appeared out of nowhere. It didn't exist before. She looked at it closely and said, That is troublesome. She then asked, Why are you looking at me like that? Lin Wanwan asked hesitantly, Big Sister Qingshu, you said you really didn't see it this time. So, the earlier times. Dong Shengyi in disbelief said, My own sister, my biological little sister. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu snapped, Stop with the nonsense, this is serious. New cracks are appearing, and that usually means a riot is about to happen. We'd better get out of here as soon as possible. A riot in an SS rank spatial crack is no joke. Lin Wanwan protested, but I still have to collect a few more samples. Dong Shengyi reassured her, it's fine, let's go on. Then addressing Dong Qingshu, he said, I don't believe you at all. At the S rank spatial crack, 35th floor, Lu Sheng boredly punched a beast lightly, and it was instantly killed. He said, considering that the Tiger Scorpion team has done this many times, it's a simple spatial crack. Suddenly he felt something and was shocked. But what's going on? I suddenly feel uneasy. The immortal cells are emitting a complex signal that says that I or someone dear to me is in danger. Lu Sheng stopped for a moment and said, this feeling, the signal from the immortal cells must mean something. This could only happen if something were affecting me or someone dear to me. But who is it? He then used his skill, psychic activation. Through martial arts cultivation, one can continuously tap into various unimaginable treasures within their physique. Predicting good and bad fortune is also a type of martial arts. Perceiving upcoming dangers can help one avoid entering dangerous places and facing great enemies head on. Lu Sheng's third immortal cell greatly enhanced this skill. Lu Sheng said, no, it's too vague. I can't find out who it is specifically. The people most dear to me are my parents, little sister, Dong Qingxi, Xin Xiaojun, Lu Qiming, Lin Zi. Do I have to check them one by one? The spatial crack signal is faint and I can't make any calls. I can't check even if I wish to. I hope it's not too far away or I won't be there on time. He moved forward, dashing quickly and said, whatever. I'm so close to the dense gold mine, I have to act fast. Suddenly, he saw something and said, Here you are. My psychic energy wasn't alarmed, which means there are very few wicked masters within the spatial crack. It looks like not every spatial crack is interlocked. He then became serious and attacked the walls. Suddenly, a monster emerged and he said, Don't stand in my way. He immediately killed it in a different scene, somewhere not far away. A bald guy said, What's that sound? There's a deep stench of blood coming. Is it an otherworldly beast or a person? His friend said, I don't know. Let's go look. 
He replied, yes. On the other side, the beast said, ugh, ugh. And the person said, why is Dong Shengyi so strong? His power isn't much higher than mine, but I couldn't even handle one of his moves. Just why? I should be happy that I can handle a rank 8 on my own, but instead I'm still annoyed. So annoying. Suddenly, a blast hit him, and he said, Damn it, who's making so much noise? Don't you know I'm in a bad mood right now? Just wait for me, I'll show you. A few moments later, Lu Sheng said, This dense gold mine is quite the find. But suddenly, beasts approached Lu Sheng, and he said, the dense gold will attract beasts, I shouldn't get too wrapped up in it. After all, I have no helpers with me this time, I have to take it back slowly myself. Suddenly he felt something and let go of his spear. He said, that feeling just now, it's the feeling of my heart suddenly tightening, it's someone dear to me. The feeling of imminent danger is so intense, I'm afraid it's too late, whatever I'll just take one piece, I don't want the rest anymore. Suddenly Lu Shang looked into the distance and the people exclaimed, oh my god. Dense gold, so much dense gold. One person said, this guy discovered a dense gold mine, look guys. The bald guy said, whoa. Lu Sheng thought to himself, it's like the homeless dogs following me home when I have takeout. He said, the rest are all yours. Now, get out of the way. The bald guy said, he he brother, you must be joking. The noise you made while mining was very loud. Don't you know dense gold attracts beasts? This commotion will attract the attention of many. How can we dig out the rest unless you give us the peace you have so we can all get out of here safely together? Ha ha ha, Lu. Shang said, what did you say? I didn't hear you clearly. You want to say that again? Suddenly, the bald guy and his friends were shocked and said, ah, a person suddenly interjected. Hey, just now, was your noise the one that attracted the beasts? The bald guy said, you're Ji Shun. Ji Shun said, do you know me? The bald guy replied, you must be joking, sir. You're ranked second in the Star General ranking. Who in the entire Eastern Military Division doesn't know you, sir? Lu Sheng said. Then do you know me? Ji Shun said. You? Who are you? I don't know you and I don't need to know. I just know that you disturbed me just now and I'm in a bad mood. Either you leave all the dense gold behind or you also stay behind. The bald guy said. Let's watch Master Ji Shun's fight. Hopefully he will leave something for U.S. Lu Sheng suddenly dropped his dense gold. Ji Shun said. Hey, boy, you know just what to do. Then I will. Lu Sheng said, You guys, is your martial arts intuition just for show? Why can't I feel it? His aura raged. Right now I am, in a hurry and also agitated. So, why are you choosing this moment to provoke men? Ji Xun said. You! What on earth did you say? It doesn't matter since you wish to die so much. Lu Sheng said, I'll help with that. Suddenly the bald guy shouted, the communication watch, his friend said, damn it, our communication watches as they exploded. Lu Sheng became serious, and Ji Shun said, what, what's this? As he stared at Lu Sheng, this, in a different scene, Lin Wan Wan said, we're already more than 30 levels deep in the spatial crack, and the abyss has formed. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu said, no, we can't go any further. Lin Wan Wan agreed, yes, you're right. I've almost collected all the samples I need as well. He looked at Dong Shengyi and added, It's time to go, right, senior brother Dong? But Dong Shengyi just stood there, unresponsive. Lin Wan Wan repeated, Senior brother Dong, did you hear me? Hey, senior brother Dong? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu grabbed his shoulder and said, Dong Shengyi. Dong Shengyi snapped out of it and said, Huh? Or what's up? I was just thinking about something and didn't pay attention. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu repeated, I said that we should go back now. New cracks have started to show up. Dong Shengyi responded, Ha, but what we've seen so far proves that your idea of the surge is wrong. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu said, but I feel like something's wrong, I just checked. Dong Shengyi interrupted, it's fine Dong Qingxu. Your mission is simply exploration, I'll take care of the beasts. Who do you think you are? Don't use your rank 6 skills to try to measure my limits, got it? Even if there's a surge in the spatial crack, I can get you out safely. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu said, yes I get it. Lin Wan Wan added, Senior Brother Dong, you're too harsh. Big Sister Ching Zhu is just worried that we might be in danger. Dong Sheng Yi laughed. Ha ha, if she's really worried about me, she wouldn't have done what she did earlier. He continued, We still need some samples from Rank 8 Beasts. Let's keep going downward. We'll go back when we have enough samples. He then grabbed Lin Wan Wan and said, I can feel it. 
The chance to break through to Marshall Saint is right here. I must succeed, I must. Lin Wan Wan, concerned, said, Seen your brother Dong. As he walked away, Lin Wan Wan then turned to Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu and said, Big Sister Ching Shu, please don't get upset. Senior Brother Dong must not have meant that. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu replied, I'm not upset. I've known him for a long time. I don't take it to heart. I just feel like. She paused and asked, Wan Wan, have you felt it? Lin Wan Wan asked, What? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu continued, Dong Sheng Yi is giving off that weird feeling. For example, when we first entered the spatial crack, he wouldn't leave our side for more than five meters. Not to mention that we're on the 34th floor now, which is 10 times more dangerous than where we first entered. But now he's quite a distance away from us and he didn't even notice we're not following him. So I speculate. Dong Shengi is acting like he's all alone. He'll keep going downward and enter the depths of the spatial crack. In another scene, Lu Sheng grabbed Ji Shun's neck with his psychic power and made a hand gesture, slamming Ji Shun into the ground. The bald guy exclaimed, This, this, this is Ji Shun, both strong and invincible, ranked second in the cultivation of the military division. But he was beaten by this unknown, mysterious young man without even getting the chance to resist. We don't even know if he's still breathing. If this gets out, I'm afraid it would cause a sensation throughout the entire Eastern military division. Lu Shong suddenly looked at them and said, Hey! The bald guy bowed down and pleaded, Sir, sir, please don't attack. Let's talk this over nicely. Don't kill us. Please, we're wrong. Sir, it's our mistake. He thought to himself, It's over. He crushed my communication watch. If I die here, I'll be eaten by the beasts in less than half a day. Are we going to remain here forever? I don't want to die yet. Lu Sheng said, Whatever. I've been relieved of almost all my anger, and I'm not a cruel person. The bald guy exclaimed, Ah, we're saved. Thank you so much. Suddenly he felt something in his ear and said, Oh. Suddenly his ears fell off and he screamed like a little girl, Ah. Lu Sheng said, Remember my face and next time make sure to fear me. Got it? The bald guy stammered, Yes. Certainly, certainly, certainly. He realized they all trembled on the ground. He then said, Your face? I will certainly remember it well. Suddenly he realized and said, Wait, I remember. He's Lu Sheng, ranked fourth in the Star General ranking. The top dark horse that recently appeared in the Ninth War Zone. He has twelve and a half stars of combat power, but this can't be. His friend exclaimed, No way. How can it only be that much? Dong Sheng Yi defeated Ji Shun in one move, and Lu Sheng needed one more too. No wonder Dong Sheng Yi challenged the top ten and skipped him. They are actually of the same power level. Dong Shengyi's days of showing off his power in our Eastern Military Division are definitely at their end. That'll be fun to watch. The bald man said quickly, go check if Ji Shun is dead or not. As Ji Shun lay embedded in the ground, his friend attended to him and said, that guy held back. His attack was a few inches off. The force passed near his heart. He's okay. Ji Shun opened his eyes and said, I. He paused for a moment, thinking, and then continued, not dead? He thought of Lu Sheng and Dong Shengyi and asked, How can you be so strong? In a different scene, Lu Sheng said, I'm still soft-hearted. I can't be like Gu Xuan, killing people standing in my way like they're nothing. He suddenly stopped and said, That anxious feeling is getting stronger. I can't afford to delay this any longer. Who's in danger? Could it be? Meanwhile, in another scene, Lin Wan Wan said, Senior Brother Dong, we can't go any further than this. She held on to Dong Shengyi's arm and said, It's too dangerous. Dong Shengyi suddenly pulled his arm back and said, Wan Wan, move aside. Suddenly, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shou used her power to attack Dong Shengyi. He stood there silently, blocking all her attacks. Dong Shengyi looked at Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shou with his infected eyes and said, Dong Ching Shou, do you really want to die? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shou replied, Dong Shengyi, we should return now. Wan Wan has already collected what she needs. Lin Wan Wan said, Yes, senior brother Dong, we should go. I really don't want to stay here any longer. Dong Shengyi silently looked at Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Xu, then turned around and said, You go back first. I really want to see what's deep inside. He began to move forward and said, I feel something calling Mem Mei. Maybe it's what I've been looking for, the peak off Marshall Dao. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu shouted, 
Don't fall for such delusions, Dong Shengyi. There's no way such a thing would be down here. You're bewitched. Dong Shengyi said, There is, definitely. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Chengshu said, He is being influenced. Lin Wanwan asked, Senior Brother Dong, what should we do now? We can't return and call for help. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Chengshu said, Wait here, I'll go wake him up. I must drag him out of this state. Lin Wanwan said, I'll help too. As they ran towards Dong Shengyi, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Chingshu suddenly stopped and began to use her psychic powers. She cut the stalactites, blocking Dong Shengyi's path. Lin Wanwan suddenly blocked Dong Shengyi's way and said, Senior Brother Dong, if you don't return with us, I'll tell my mother about this. I'll tell her to punish you. Dong Shengyi passed by her, destroyed the obstructions in his path and said, Whatever Lin Zhengzhu's Dao can do, it can only help her succeed. It can't help me. My Dao is ahead. Lin Wanwan said, It's over. Senior Brother Dong usually treats my mom with respect, but now he's insane enough to say such things. She turned to Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu and asked, Are we just going to watch him go? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu said, There's another way. Lin Wanwan asked, Oh? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu suddenly dashed forward and hugged Dong Shengyi. Big brother, you. As Dong Shengyi turned his head back, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu said, Big brother, big brother, don't you recognize me? Dong Shengyi said, I. As the virus's influence receded, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu said, Big brother, this spatial crack is full of dangers, and the Marshal Saint's daughter, Wan Wan, has completed her mission. We shouldn't go any further. Dong Shengyi suddenly shook his head. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu said, Big brother, we need you to escort us back. Dong Shengyi said, Damn it, what the hell happened? How did we get this far? Suddenly he remembered and said, Yes. Earlier I, guys, it's as if I was being called from over there, as if there's something there I desperately want. Suddenly, Dong Shengyi unleashed his aura, and Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu was thrown back, shouting, Ah, big brother, you. As she fell, a huge mouth appeared, and she said, Ah. Uh -huh. Suddenly, she was eaten whole by the huge beast with a crash. Lin Wanwan shouted, Big Sister Ching Shu! Dong Shengyi shouted as well, Dong Ching Su. In another scene, Lu Sheng came out of the special cracks and felt something bad. Lu Sheng said, This is, just now, in that moment, something really important to me slipped away. This is bad. The immortal cells have gone quiet, no longer sending signals, which makes this even more dangerous. Get me a connection fast. He took out his new Chinese phone and called, Mom! Lu Sheng's mom answered, Hello? Lu Sheng said, Mom, how are you and Dad? Just call in to check. Hmm. A few moments later, Lu Sheng called, Chinga, you're in class, okay? Next, he called for Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu, but the phone said, Sorry, the number you dialed. Lu Sheng said, It's her but it's not unusual for her to have her phone off in the military zone. After all, signals often don't reach places like the abyss. It doesn't necessarily mean something's wrong. Suddenly, his phone rang with a beep. He answered, Hello, Old Chin, what's up? Old Chin said, Lu Sheng, where are you? Lu Sheng replied, I. Old Chin interrupted, Something happened. Get back here fast. Dong Ching Shu is in trouble. Lu Sheng was shocked and said, What happened? Take your time, explain. What? They went into a double S rank abyss crack and a riot broke out at the highest level. Level 10? Lu Sheng said, Seventh war zone. I'm heading there right now. He then dashed forward, moving as fast as he could. Dong Ching Shu. Wait for me. In another scene near the double S rank abyss in the seventh war zone, an officer said, Request reinforcements from the 6th and 8th war zones. A level 10 riot. Who knows how many casualties that will cause. We can't handle this on our own. How many teams are still in the abyss? The soldier replied on the radio. 8. That includes Lin Wanwan, the only daughter of the Marshal Saint, and Dong Shengyi, his third disciple. They haven't returned yet. What do we do? The officer hesitated but then said, I'm giving you full authority over the 7th war zone. Gather all available generals and head to the abyss to find those two. 
If anything goes wrong, the wrath of a martial saint is something our military can't bear. The soldier responded, yes, sir. He then turned to the others and said, brothers, this mission might be a life and death struggle. Second team, start gathering the others. We'll go down first. Suddenly, a soldier pointed in a direction and said, report to the officer. Dong Shengyi's team is there. They saw Dong Shengyi and Lin Wanwan. The officer said, it's really them. Hurry, help them out. As Dong Shengyi jumped towards the surface, the officer shouted, get them up here fast. Outside, the other teams gathered. Dong Shengyi, trembling in fear, panted heavily while Lin Wanwan sobbed softly. The officer said, thank goodness you guys are okay. Otherwise, we would have had to charge into the rioting abyss ourselves, as expected of the martial saint's third disciple. Not only did you make it out safely, but you also brought back three general squads that were trapped in the abyss. Dong Shengyi suddenly knelt to the ground. Lin Wanwan said, Brother Dong. The officer asked, What's wrong? Dong Shengyi, trembling, said, It's me. It's my fault. It's my fault, she. A soldier whispered to the officer, who then said, Apparently, someone they went in with didn't make it back. What? Oh, why didn't you say something earlier? The soldier replied, Her identity is a bit special. She's Dong Shengyi's blood-related sister, a senior officer from the Ninth War Zone. The officer thought to himself, Hey, you gave me a scare. It's not like she was someone super important. If she died, she died. On the battlefield, people die all the time. Even seventh-level grandmasters fall, let alone a little officer. Dong Shengyi will probably get over it in a few days. After all, being a martial saint's disciple, this can be considered a test of character. Suddenly, Lu Sheng arrived, his presence as bright as the sun. The officer shielded his eyes and exclaimed, Uwa! Lu Sheng, his eyes shining, asked, Where is Dong Shengyi? He walked with the determination of someone heading into a boss fight. The officer wondered, Who is this person? As an 11 star general, even just looking at him makes me feel terrified? Lu Sheng's aura raged as he shouted, Dong Shengyi, get out here! Dong Shengyi stopped trembling, shocked after hearing his name. Lu Sheng suddenly grabbed Dong Shengyi's shirt with his huge hands. Lu Sheng shouted, Where is Dong Qing Su? Dong Shengyi stammered, she, and began to sweat. Lin Wanwan, sobbing, said, Sister Qing Zhu. Lu Sheng let go of Dong Shengyi and said, It was you. You took Dong Qing Su in, but you couldn't bring her back out. This matter, you can't escape the blame, even if you're her brother. He gazed sternly at Dong Shengyi. Lu Sheng asked, Dong Shengyi, didn't you want to pursue martial prowess? Wait until I bring Dong Qing Shu back. As he walked towards the spatial crack, he said with resolve in his voice, I will personally end your martial path. The officer shouted to Lu Sheng, Hey, are you looking to die? A level 10 riot in a double S rank abyss. Get back here. Dong Shengyi, sweating after sensing Lu Sheng's intense godly aura, muttered, That guy. Lu Sheng suddenly moved faster, and Dong Shengyi continued, Is Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng dashed quickly back into the spatial crack, when suddenly a huge monster appeared. Without hesitation, Lu Sheng continued toward the beast and shouted, Get out! His spear glowed golden as he added, Of my way! With a swift motion, he cut through the monster like butter using his upgraded crystalline scarlet draconic spear. An officer, watching in shock, exclaimed, He defeated a rank 8 monster in one move. Just who is he? But Lu Sheng didn't stop. He pressed on. Another officer panicked. The SS rank spatial crack has a surge of rank 10 monsters. There's nothing we can do but run. If you still dare to go, it's suicide. It's insane. Dong Shengyi, observing the scene, thought to himself, I have seen many brave men die in battle, but no one has been this decisive. Without an ounce of hesitation, his mind wandered. Is he the one Dong Qingshu likes? A few seconds later, on the fifth floor of the spatial crack, a monster extended its tongue toward Lu Sheng. Annoyed, Lu Sheng swiftly decapitated it as if slicing a carrot. I checked her information and nothing has changed yet, Lu Sheng muttered. That means she's trapped here, not dead, but that could change at any moment. I have to hurry. His voice filled with determination. Dong Qingshu, wait for me. I will definitely find you. He shouted as he sped through the crack. In another scene, deep inside the throat of a beast, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingshu was drenched in saliva. 
Clutching the charm that Lu Sheng had given her, she slowly opened her eyes and whispered, I'm still alive? Looking at the glowing charm in her hand, she murmured, I saved me. I remember being swallowed by a beast. She took a cautious step forward inside the belly of the beast, but tentacles quickly slithered toward her. Is this inside its belly? She asked aloud, only to suddenly feel a tentacle grab her foot. The creature's appendages wrapped around her curves and limbs, and she gasped in shock. Ah! The tentacles tightened their grip, pulling her in further. Ah, there are tentacles in the beast's belly, she cried out, struggling to free herself. One of the tentacles opened up and hissed menacingly, attempting to pull her deeper. Dong Ching Sui shouted, Ah! But just as the tentacle was about to overwhelm her, the charm Lu Shong had given her shone brightly. The radiant light burned through the tentacles, causing them to hiss in pain. The charm formed a protective shield around her, breaking the tentacles' hold as they retreated. Panting, she remarked, The pendant's psychic protection, it saved me from the beast's attacks, but its power has been greatly reduced. If they attack again, I won't survive. She glanced at the charm, watching as its light dimmed further. Looking down at her burning clothes, she cursed, Damn it, that substance is corrosive. Her chest was barely covered, and her outfit was in tatters. Struggling to stand, she said, I have to find a way out quickly. But then she noticed something alarming. Ah, the air is thin inside this beast's belly. If I weren't a rank six cultivator, I would have suffocated by now. I can't stay here. Summoning her energy, she prepared a psychic gathering skill. I must break through, she shouted as she launched an attack at the beast's belly. Smoke rose from the impact, but the belly remained intact. Damn it, she shouted in frustration, attacking again. Again, again, again. But despite her relentless efforts, the beast's belly remained unscathed. Exhausted and pale, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu staggered back in disbelief. How is this possible? She whispered, gasping for breath. Her strength waning, she murmured. It looks like this is the end for Mem. She collapsed onto the ground, despair filling her voice. Although I can accept my death and don't fear it, there's still just a little bit of sorrow. Suddenly, her phone slipped from her torn skirt and landed on the ground with a soft thud. She looked at it silently, then picked it up. Staring at the screen, her lips trembled. Lu Shang, she whispered as tears welled in her eyes. Opening her contacts, she stared at the picture of Lu Shang and began to cry softly. Breathing heavily, she muttered, the air slipped from her wrath, not enough. Her phone slipped from her grasp, and with a final weak whisper, she called out, Lu Chung, before collapsing completely. Just as Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu was about to text Lu Sheng instead of calling him in this emergency, the beast's tentacles began to reappear. As they approached, she whispered to herself, a sorrow. The tentacles wrapped around her soft, thick thighs, pulling her up. They crept slowly toward her chest, arms, legs, neck, and thighs. She continued in defeat, but maybe, in the next life we could be side by side. The tentacles began to cover her face, leaving her feeling hopeless. Outside, within the spatial crack, a beast roared, only to be cut in half by Lu Sheng's upgraded crystalline scarlet draconic spear. Lu Sheng gritted his teeth, thinking, the pendant I gave to Dong Ching Xu holds my psychic energy, letting me find her location. But now, I can't sense it. I'm not close enough. His eyes narrowed with resolve. Then, I'll turn this whole spatial crack upside down, he declared, facing the incoming horde of beasts alone. Suddenly, Lu Sheng stopped as ice and fire rained down around him. The beasts became confused, ensnared by the ice. With fire in his eyes, Lu Sheng growled, Die, you beasts! Activating his skill, slaughtering Dao, he swore, I will massacre. With a single swing, he chopped through three beasts in front of him and mocked another. Too slow. His focus intensified as he thought, I need to find her quickly. Lu Sheng squatted and then leaped forward, faster than any beast could comprehend. The might of the divine whale, he shouted, hurling his upgraded spear. The weapon pierced through everything in its path, shattering floors as it descended through the spatial crack. Suddenly, he stopped and exclaimed, She's right there. Leaping through the hole, he shouted, Wait for me. He moved faster, plunging deeper past the 20th, then the 40th floor. His eyes glinted with fierce determination as he thought, I'm getting close. Finally, he reached a solid wall, sensing her just beyond it. Without hesitation, he punched the wall with all his might, smashing through it. As the debris cleared, Lu Sheng stared at the scene before him. A massive beast with its tongue out, 
and another, larger beast devouring its surroundings. Dong Qingxu's signal is weakening fast, Lu Sheng muttered, fear creeping into his voice. Could it be? He turned to the beast and shouted, Damn you! The beast charged a green beam from its mouth and fired it at him. Lu Sheng stood still, watching the beam approach. So, it's you who hurt her. He muttered darkly, clenching his glowing golden fist. With one powerful punch, he deflected the beam, defying all logic. The beast, shocked, had its eyes go dark. Is she inside your body? Lu Sheng asked coldly. Using his palm like a blade, he sliced through the beast's belly as easily as cutting butter. You bastard! Give her back to me, he shouted, cutting the beast in half. Inside the beast's belly, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu was being drained by the tentacles. Her body had grown weak, but suddenly, a bright light shone upon her. Her eyes fluttered open as she whispered, This light. Tears welled up as she murmured, Is this the god of death come to take me? The tentacles licked her chest and neck, tightening their hold. Suddenly, Lu Sheng's voice rang out in the distance, full of rage. Dong Qingzhu, he appeared, cutting down the tentacles wrapping around her body in one swift motion. Dong Qingzhu, dazed, fell forward, but Lu Sheng was there to catch her. Dong Qingzhu, he whispered, relief flooding his voice. I found you. She blushed, feeling the warmth of his arms and stared up at him, whispering, Lu. Her gaze softened as she said, Lu Sheng? Lu Sheng smiled gently. Let's go back, he said. As they embraced, delicate cherry blossoms emerged from the remains of the beast's stomach, floating around them like a scene from a dream. An officer outside the spatial crack exclaimed, That's bad. More and more beasts are coming out. It's not looking good. Everyone, retreat to the barracks. Lu Sheng, the 19-year-old general who killed Lu Moying, who had the combat power of at least 15 stars in one move, is a natural prodigy and a true monster and he's from our Eastern Military Division. On the screen it read, Eastern Tar General, Star General Ranking 4th. Combat Power, 12 and a half stars, killed Lu Moying, name, Lu Sheng Age, 19 role, Eastern Military Division, 9th War Zone. The officer continued, heavens, that's a rare sight, but he just launched a suicide mission against the SS rank spatial crack right before me, and I didn't stop him. That's bad. Can we figure out his whereabouts? His friend replied, no, he destroyed all communication devices within the spatial crack. And even if we found out where he is in that crack and with that surge of monsters, I don't think it's a good idea to send people to rescue him. The officer cursed, damn it, what a shame, his friend echoed, what a shame, damn it. The officer slammed the table, furious. This trashy disciple of the Marshal Saint and her daughter made us lose a youth who was fully capable of becoming a terrifying existence of rank nine. Truly, if it weren't for who they were, I'd have wanted to teach them a lesson. His friend cautioned, don't be too loud, boss. You probably wouldn't be able to beat him. The officer snapped back, can I shout my own thoughts out even? Anyway, he continued, would using nuclear bombs to blow up the monsters and then going in for the rescue be possible? His friend responded, no, boss. The higher-ups won't agree. The spatial crack will widen if we use nuclear bombs, possibly making the consequences even more serious. There are currently nine SS rank spatial cracks, and more than half were created through the use of nuclear weapons by many countries. The officer groaned, That's no good, no good, whatever. We can't just watch the hope of our division vanish like that. I'll bear the responsibility. Let's give it a try, even if it means higher risk. Let's first. Suddenly, a soldier rushed in and reported, Sir, there are changes on the battlefield. Sir, things on the defensive line have changed, the soldier added. The officer asked, Oh, what happened? The soldier replied, All defense lines report that the beasts on the battlefield are retreating back to the spatial crack. The officer, shocked, commanded, What? Quickly, bring up a satellite image of the battlefield. The soldier switched the channel on the television. The officer stared in disbelief. Wait, this. It doesn't look like they're retreating, not like they're being repelled. They are. A counterattack. It's a rescue. This is their lair, and there seems to be an issue in their backyard. Look. They're retreating from the front line and rushing one after another, regardless of their lives. It's like the center of the spatial crack. Something terrifying is coming out. Suddenly, a massive phoenix emerged from the spatial crack. The officer gasped, That! Lu Sheng then stepped out of the spatial crack, carrying Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu in his arms. As he and his phoenix surveyed the beasts around them, Lu Sheng muttered, That's bad! The beasts are too many! If so, he then levitated, activating his skill, Ride of the Wind. He mounted the phoenix and began to fly. 
the officer and his team in awe muttered, What? It's flying? Flying in the air? Isn't this something from myth and legend? Only a small number of highly skilled prodigies who have mastered the elements can achieve this, like the legendary Marshal St. Wynne Cultivator. This is extraordinary! Is he truly the 19-year-old Star General? Suddenly, a swarm of giant bat-like beasts screeched and charged at Lu Shang. But he looked at them seriously and said, Shut up. The sky rumbled as lightning struck the swarm, obliterating them. Make a fuss again, and you're all dead, Lu Shang warned. The other beasts froze, shocked by how effortlessly Lu Shang kept Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu asleep amidst the chaos. Then, his phoenix emitted an intense light as Lu Shang rampaged through the surrounding beasts. The officer marveled. He's the power of lightning. Just now, he showed fire, wind, thunder, and lightning. That's amazing. What kind of power does he hold? How can he be so strong? One of the soldiers remarked, The woman in his arms is Dong Shengyi's sister. It looks like. That was his way of reacting to his lover being in danger. In ancient times, kings created a blood path just to get their lovers back. He even burst into the gates of hell for her. The officer, grinning, exclaimed, Since the beasts are already scared, Ah ha ha ha, everyone, prepare to counterattack the spatial crack. The soldiers responded in unison, yes. Meanwhile, Dong Xingyi stood outside the barracks, silently waiting. Moments later, Lu Sheng arrived, and Dong Xingyi noticed his presence. Dong Xingyi was shocked and blurted out, Ching, as Lu Sheng's aura flared up around him. Before Dong Xingyi could say another word, Lu Sheng's aura silenced him. Lu Sheng said coldly, she's finally asleep, so don't wake her up. After a tense moment, Lu Sheng released his grip, and Dong Shengyi, trembling, managed to stammer, Thank you. Thank you for saving her. Lu Sheng, still intimidating, replied, Don't think I won't hit you just because you said thank you. I can cut off your entire martial arts path, so you'd better be prepared. When it comes to the Eastern Military Division competition, don't expect me to hold back. The next day, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu woke up in a sweat, startled and disoriented. Lu Sheng smiled gently and said, you're awake? She smiled back faintly. It feels like. I had a very long dream. I dreamt that you saved me. You said, we're going back together. Lu Sheng cleared his throat, trying to play it off. Ahem, really? Well, it wasn't a dream. It actually happened. As Dong Qingshu faintly recalled the moments when Lu Sheng had carried her, she gazed at him thoughtfully and whispered to herself. So, it's true. Looking away, she said softly, Yes, thank you, Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng remained silent, watching her. Dong Ching Chua thought to herself, You hugged me so tightly before, but now that we're out of the spatial crack, away from the life and death crisis, we seem distant once again. The wind gently blew through the room, stirring the curtains. Lu Sheng broke the silence. Dong. Dong Ching Chu responded, Lu. They both hesitated and then said in unison, Ah. Dong Ching Chu smiled and said, You go first. Lu Sheng cleared his throat again. Well, Let's find some time to have a meal together. Dong Ching Shu nodded. Yes. Lu Sheng continued. Maybe we could watch a movie afterward? Yes, she agreed. As their conversation continued, Lu Sheng reached out, his hand inching closer to hers. How about taking a walk after the movie? Yes, she replied softly. Lu Sheng smiled. And after the walk, we can go to a bar. Dong Ching Shu looked away for a moment, then nodded. Yes. His tone grew more serious as he asked. Will you come home with me for the new year? He gently took her hand in his. Yes, she answered instinctively, but then suddenly realized what he had just asked. Ah? Lu Sheng grinned playfully, having successfully tricked her into saying yes. Aha, it's settled then. I'll pick you up in two days for dinner. Rest well before then. You've exhausted yourself and you need to recover. As he tucked her into bed, Dong Ching Shu blushed, clearly embarrassed. Lu Sheng stood up and said, I'm going now. See you later. Rest well. She watched as he left the room. <laughs> the door clicked shut, and for a moment, Dong Ching Shu lay there, staring at the door, lost in thought. Suddenly, she heard the door slowly creaking open again, and she smiled, expecting Lu Sheng to return. But it was Lin Wan Wan who peeked in. It's me. Lin Wan Wan entered the room with a cheerful smile. Big sister Ching Shu. You're finally awake. Dong Ching Shu asked. Wan Wan, did I sleep for a long time? Lin Wan Wan giggled. A whole day and night. Your boyfriend was by your side the entire time, she teased, holding Ching Shu's hand. Hey, Dong Ching Shu quickly looked away. What boyfriend? Lin Wan Wan smirked. 
Oh, come on, isn't it true? Look at your reaction, big sister Ching Shu. It doesn't look like you're denying it. Dong Ching Shu blushed, trying to hide her feelings. Lin Wan Wan, still teasing, continued, You don't even know that he broke into that spatial crack full of beasts all by himself just to get you out. I think that's what a perfect boyfriend is. Dong Ching Shu's face softened as she quietly replied, Right. The atmosphere was filled with a sense of love and warmth. One day later, on the news, a broadcast announced, The generals advanced. The horn has been blown for the counterattack against the beasts. Lu Sheng glanced at the article again and sighed. This is quite the portrayal. The article read, Lu Sheng bravely entered the rank 10 beast surge, becoming the first Eastern Star General, the Eastern Sun. Putting down his Chinese tablet, Lu Sheng muttered to himself, Although entering the surge alone was exhilarating, the reality of doing it for a romantic partner makes it less glamorous. After all, heroism in the name of personal relations is the biggest taboo on the battlefield. It's understandable that the story got distorted. He thought back, noting, Yu Xinghai took the credit for this, but I was given 10 million merits, which is fair. All the dense gold loss at the seventh front line was returned without anything missing. And finally, the Diamond Dragon Medal of Honor, personally awarded by the Marshal. It's a great honor. As he continued reflecting, Lu Sheng added quietly, During that time, I wanted Dong Qingxu to rest peacefully, but in doing so, I exposed many of my abilities, which caused quite a stir. The endless stream of beasts drained me. By the time I finally flew out, I was completely exhausted. I never imagined a day would come when I'd be drained in battle. Lu Sheng shook his head, thinking of the legends. It's said that only martial saints can fight their way out of a surge in a spatial crack. But am I at rank 9 now? No, not yet. Martial saints can mobilize the power of heaven and earth. With a single move, they shift crowds of hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of people. Human life is limited, but the universe is endless. How can one fight the forces of heaven and earth with just human strength? It's too difficult. I still have so many areas to improve on. I haven't even broken through to the Grand Master rank yet. Despite the reflection, Lu Sheng remained determined. But that won't stop me. The path I've chosen is different from the rest. The bridge of heaven and earth, that's where I need to go, to master its power. With the merits and dense gold I've earned, I should be able to drastically improve myself. Just then, Li Dai entered the room, interrupting his thoughts. Master, the arrangements you asked for have been completed. Lu Sheng nodded. Got it. Can I ask you something? Li Dai smiled, sensing an unusual shift in Lu Sheng's tone. Of course. Lu Sheng hesitated briefly. Do you think I should wear something special to meet someone? Li Di chuckled softly. The five sets on the right side of the dressing room should be suitable. Based on my understanding of Miss Dong's taste, she would prefer you to choose from those. Lu Sheng looked confused. You know her? Li Dai giggled and replied. At this point, there are probably only a few people who don't know about Miss Dong in the entire Eastern Military Division. Who doesn't know about the incredible General of the East, who went into a spatial crack alone for his beloved? Thousands of beasts couldn't stop you. All the female officers envy Miss Dong. Lu Sheng sighed. Is that so? Just as he was about to continue, something Li Dai said caught his attention. By the way, your parents' old comrade seems to have been looking for you a lot recently. What's going on? Li Dai seemed momentarily surprised before answering, Yes, he wishes to pursue me, in marriage. Lu Sheng was taken aback, but internally he thought, she's lying. Though he didn't press further, Lu Sheng's sharp instincts were already piecing things together. Lu Sheng tied his shoes and asked, Oh, how old is he? Li Di replied, He's still young, just over 70 years old. Lu Sheng gave a thoughtful nod. What do you think of him? I have rejected him many times. Li Dai responded earnestly. I don't wish to marry. I will serve you instead, master. Lu Sheng took his coat, sighing gently. No need. You are allowed to pursue your own happiness as you wish. As he put on his coat, he added, I may not always be here. Then walking ahead, he said, I'm leaving now. You can go. As Lu Sheng walked away, he thought to himself, everyone has their own secrets. As long as these secrets don't affect me, they're none of my concern. A few hours later, at the Blue Pigeon restaurant, Lu Sheng stood outside looking at the building. The last time our date was here, but I didn't make it. He glanced at the window, stealing himself. This time, it's a proper date. I have to behave well. Just then, he heard footsteps approaching and thought, she's coming. Lu Sheng? 
a voice called. Lu Sheng turned, and his world seemed to stop as he looked at Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu. He stared in awe. She's taken off her military outfit and put on something elegant. Can the word stunning even begin to describe her? No, it's beyond that. Did I shock you? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu asked with a teasing smile. Not at all, Lu Sheng replied. You're just breathtaking. Hmm, she murmured. Let's go. Of course, he said, extending his hand toward her. Dong Ching Su glanced at his hand, then back at him, smiling as she took it. They held hands, walking toward the restaurant. Lu Sheng, feeling her slight tremble, thought to himself, she may appear calm on the outside, but deep down, she's nervous and shy. She's unexpectedly adorable. Inside the restaurant, they sat facing each other, enjoying their meal as expensive dishes sparkled on the table. Lu Sheng couldn't resist and reached for a huge steak, but he quickly corrected himself. Ahem, I need to be more civilized. He picked up his knife and fork, glancing up to see Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu delicately eating her well-done steak. Ha, so hot! She suddenly exclaimed, spitting out a bite. Moments later, Lu Sheng, momentarily forgetting the incident, asked, Shall we watch a movie afterward? Yes, Dong Ching Shu replied, nodding. They shared a comfortable silence, waiting for the bill. In the villa's garden, an ugly maid whispered, So, Master Lu Shang is going out with her? The even uglier maid sneered, She didn't look that impressive. Who knows, she always seemed so cold before. Suddenly, Li Dai appeared, glaring at them. Next time I hear you speak ill of Master behind his back, I will report you directly to the military division prison. She then shouted, Scram! The maids hurried away, whispering their complaints. As Li Dai stood there, she noticed something unusual and moved towards the wall, her voice tense. Why are you here? What's wrong? The mysterious hooded figure emerged from the shadows, dropping a cigarette. When do you plan to begin? He asked. That person can't wait any longer. Li Dai's face grew serious. This is the Eastern Military Division, and Lu Sheng is their brightest, most brilliant star general. What can be done? The hooded figure interrupted impatiently. If I do this, Li Dai continued, how will I survive afterward? How will I escape? The hooded figure leaned closer. So what do you want to do? That kid is improving too quickly. He's not even 20 yet. In a few years, he might become someone even a rank 10 beast's venom couldn't kill. Li Di sighed. The Eastern Military Division competition will be held in a few days. He'll undoubtedly represent the East and go to the Central Division for the regional military competition. I'll handle this my way, and it'll be easier for me to get out. As long as you have a plan, the hooded figure said, nodding. After you're done, if you still want to practice martial arts, that person can arrange for you to enter the ultimate martial arts school. You'll have a status equal to a martial saint's disciple. And if you don't want that, you can get an unimaginable amount of money. Li Dai tilted her head. So much that I wouldn't be able to spend it all in this lifetime? Exactly, the hooded figure replied. As I mentioned before, you can also... Fine, Li Dai snapped, her patience wearing thin as the smoke from his cigarette irritated her. Don't come to me again in the future. If he finds out, it'll be bad for us. Now go. The hooded figure chuckled mockingly. Ha, a lady dog refusing the grace of your benefactor. Do you really think you'll find a happy ending? With that, he vanished into a swirling dark portal, leaving behind only the fading scent of smoke. On a night when the moon was full and the stars shone brightly, Lu Sheng and Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu walked together in the park. As Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu glanced at Lu Sheng, she blushed and suddenly said, Ah, we've arrived. Lu Sheng replied, Then I will let you off here. You should go in now. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu paused and said, Lu Sheng, the Eastern Military Division competition is in a few days. I know what you're trying to say, Lu Sheng responded. I promise you that I won't hurt Dong Shengi, but... He made a mistake and he needs to pay for it. I said I would cut his career short, and I will do it. Since he will never be able to reach rank 9, it's better for him to give up now. Well, you've decided, so there's nothing to be done about it. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu sighed. She then suddenly embraced Lu Sheng and said, Regardless, I will always stand by your side. With that, she ran back to her apartment, calling out, See you? Lu Sheng watched her go and muttered, So... That's how I ended up? Am I? Hooking up with my teacher? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, wait. Did I miss something? 
He sighed, realizing he hadn't seized the moment to kiss her passionately. I was careless and didn't seize the opportunity. Well, next time, I'll make my move. In a different scene, inside Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu's room, she took off her heels and lay on the bed. She picked up her phone and began searching for her second date recommendations. The first slide read, Ladies, what should you pay attention to on the second date? The next slide posed the question, Would it be too much to initiate a kiss on the second date? Must know. The following slide displayed 10 types of women men like, showing images of women with various features, eyes, thick thighs, and other aspects. Another slide read, When is the best time to meet the parents? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu was taken aback and exclaimed, Wow, there are so many things to watch out for when dating. Meanwhile, in another scene within the dream space, Lu Sheng concentrated in his room and said, Despite its simple principle, passing through the bridge of heaven and earth is difficult. Simply put, it means breaking through the psychic and physical shackles to connect with the natural energy of heaven and earth, undergoing a transformation on a deeper level. Human life is limited, but the universe is endless. The bridge of heaven and earth gathers above the top of the head and flows beneath the soles of the feet. Focus the consciousness, calm the spirit, and rid yourself of all distracting thoughts. Suddenly a beam of energy pierced through the sky, and birds of energy appeared as Lu Sheng activated his skill. Third form, void insight state. This is, I actually entered the void insight state. Could this be a new form of comprehension triggered by my unique state while passing through the bridge of heaven and earth? Now, even without using the inheritance of memories from the dream space, I can master many martial arts rapidly, even to full mastery. Perfected martial arts can reach one step further. If I could have reached the third form when I was a martial saint, I wouldn't have died of exhaustion. Now I have the third form, and my other abilities like elemental control have been greatly enhanced. So this is how the bridge of heaven and earth feels? So powerful. If I can maintain this state, in addition to a constant surge of energy, I can refine one immortal cell in half a month, two in one month, and twelve in half a year. In less than five years, I will have over one hundred immortal cells, and then I could crush a martial saint with a flick of a finger after the SSS rank spatial crack surge was over. The spatial cracks of the Eastern Military Division's 12 war zones seem to have fallen into a state of complete calm. Many star generals returned from their duties, and the grand event, the Eastern Military Division competition, was about to begin. At Lu Sheng's residence, Li Di was cleaning the table and muttered to herself, compared to the previous competition, this year seems to be without suspense because Sir Lu Sheng is already the unparalleled star general of the whole Eastern Division the blazing sun that blinds everyone. Suddenly, Lu Sheng walked slowly down the stairs. Li Dai quickly announced, Sir, the Eastern Military Division competition is about to begin. The military car is here to pick you up. I know, Lu Sheng replied. Li Dai looked at Lu Sheng, and as he glanced back at her, she was shocked. She dropped to the floor saying, Ah! Lu Sheng looked down at her and asked, You, what's wrong? It's because... Because... Sir's presence is so... Dazzling, Li Dai stammered. She thought to herself, Ha this, how can just a glance make my heart race and my legs feel weak? With his aura glowing, Lu Sheng commanded, Get me the uniform. Li Dai immediately stood up, trembling as she walked away. Yes, she's good at hiding her lies, Lu Sheng thought. But since I've entered the void insight state, my mind has become hundreds of times sharper than an ordinary man's. Looking at people like this is like looking through a microscope, her facial expression, mannerisms, Everything proves she's guilty. And when does someone feel guilty? It's only when they've done something bad or plan to do something bad. She had met with that person before. I will have Butler Wang look into it. A conspiracy that is seen through is no longer considered a conspiracy, it's an offer. On the road, Lu Sheng's car sped along. Speaking to himself, he muttered, After today's Eastern Division competition, the entire military will have the Joint Military Division competition. I must reach the Central Military Division. It's next to the capital. If I finish quickly, I can go home. Should I bring Dong Ching Shu with me? Suddenly, Butler Wang, now his driver, stopped the vehicle and said, Sir Lu, we're here. People gathered, watching as the sleek, black-on-black -black car arrived. A boy noticed and exclaimed, Look, it's the number one on the Star General list, Lu Sheng, the son of the Eastern Division. Lu Sheng stepped out, walking in silence. The same boy continued in awe. Wow, he's so young, his friend asked. Is that really him? A man with a large camera zoomed in on Lu Sheng, filming him from behind. 
In a live stream, the footage suddenly shifted to a frontal view, showing Liu Shang at the Eastern Military Division's broadcast. Liu Qiming's new friend, watching the broadcast, nudged him and said, Look, it's your high school classmate. Your brother's such a big shot, that's so cool. Liu Qiming uneasy replied, No, you're mistaken. I don't know such an important person. His friend, adjusting his glasses, countered, What are you talking about? I've seen pictures of you two together several times. Don't you want to help your brother? Liu Qiming dejected, sighed. Those, those are Photoshop by me. His new friend, shocked, exclaimed, Huh? Liu Qiming, looking at an edited picture of him and Lu Sheng on his old phone, said sadly, How can a mere stone in the mud be brothers with a star in the sky? At the Eastern Military Division, the marshal commented, In our division, we haven't had such an outstanding figure to represent us for a long time. The commander replied, Marshal, this is good for us. Although personal bravado isn't ideal on the battlefield, in peaceful times, it can inspire the entire division. The marshal nodded. Lu Sheng is a remarkable leader. He deserves to be an idol and a role model. Why not give him a chance this time and let him have a stage? The commander hesitated. What? That's too risky. If he fails, it could ruin the image he's worked so hard to build. The marshal dismissed the concern. I've seen him on the battlefield. It's decided. If he succeeds, he'll become the idol of the East. If not, then it'll be a valuable lesson for him. The commander reluctantly agreed. Yes, sir. In the arena, the announcer's voice boomed. The contestants have entered and are awaiting the start of the competition. It will begin shortly. The crowd erupted into cheers. Miss Lin Wan Wan turned to Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu and teased, Hey, big sister Ching Zhu, is your boyfriend here? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu scanned the screen, looking for Lu Sheng. Moments later, the camera focused on him. She pointed and said, There he is, look! As Lu Sheng walked in silence, a man suddenly appeared before him. It was Dong Sheng Yi. Lin Wan Wan whispered excitedly, It's senior brother Dong. His aura is like a sturdy mountain. But, Lu Sheng, he's like the sun itself. When the sun crosses the sky, it looks down on the mountain below. They're not on the same level. Senior brother Dong is in trouble this time. Suddenly, the announcer interrupted, Ahem! Quiet, everyone. We now invite the marshal and commanders for their speeches. Lu Sheng smiled to himself and mused. They can be seen as the peak of the major military divisions. I can tell they each have more than 50 stars. Right now, I'm always in the martial god state, so I don't even know my true combat power. If I fight them, maybe I can estimate the combat power of a rank 9. The marshal stepped forward and explained, The rules for this competition are simple. It's a free-for-all. All competitors will enter the arena. It begins with martial arts combat, and once the free-for-all starts, no weapons are allowed. You may attack any opponent. If you are knocked down, you're eliminated. The fight continues until only one remains standing. Lu Sheng commented, Is it really that straightforward and crude? Turning to driver Wang, he asked, Is this the same as previous years? What if someone cheats, like teams up to take out the strongest competitor or bribes others to ensure they're the last standing? Driver Wang responded, Sir, that wouldn't be considered cheating. Alliances are allowed, and those defeated by them aren't truly strong. After all, wisdom is part of power. As for bribing others to be the last standing, that's even more unlikely. Even if someone wins through manipulation, they will face countless private challenges from those dissatisfied with the outcome. Those who can't prove their strength suffer miserably. Lu Sheng nodded thoughtfully. So that's how it is. If you're number one, you must always be ready for any challenge, unless you're so powerful that everyone fears you. Yes, it's both honorable and thrilling. The marshal stepped forward, his voice commanding as he announced, but the rules of this division competition, he paused for a moment, his gaze sweeping over the crowd, then shouted, will be slightly different this time. Lu Sheng's eyes widened in shock. The marshal continued, I hereby declare that all star generals in this competition should unite as a team and attack General Lu Sheng. The crowd erupted in disbelief. A voice from the audience shouted, huh? Driver Wang gasped, what? The marshal added firmly, this will continue until all of you fall. But, Driver Wang stammered, sweating. A joint attack on one person? Doesn't this mean Sir Lu will have to face thousands of enemies on his own? Lu Sheng's expression grew serious. Ah, this competition just got interesting. As he stood there, all eyes turned to Lu Sheng, waiting to see how he would face the overwhelming challenge ahead. The crowd was stunned and exclaimed, What? 
all of the star generals are joining forces to attack one person? Is Lu Sheng really worthy of the military division making such a huge decision? Butler Wang, trembling and sweating, added, In the history of the Eastern Military Division, no, in the entire history of the Dragon Nation, nothing like this has ever happened. More than 400 masters joining hands to attack one person. It's insane. Butler Wang continued, his voice shaking, even if it were a top-tier expert. They would still be overwhelmed in a sea of people. At the martial arts arena, the announcer echoed the shock. What? All of the star generals are joining forces to attack one person? Is Lu Sheng really worthy of the military division making such a decision? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu, drenched in sweat, silently prayed for Lu Sheng's safety. At the field base, Lu Kaiming, both shocked and furious, shouted, This, this isn't fair, right? At the resting zone, Dong Sheng Yi looked at Lu Sheng and Butler Wang from a distance and said, How will such a thing be decided? Suddenly, a thunderous voice from the marshal rang out. Silence. This is an order. He turned to the crowd and added, If you don't wish to participate, you can leave at any time. Then, facing Lu Sheng, the marshal asked, General Lu Sheng, do you have any objections? Inwardly, he mused, This is an important moment, one that will be witnessed by all. If you seize this opportunity, you will soar into the blue skies and travel through the nine heavens. Many years from now, people will still sing your praises in the Eastern Military Division. That would be an unprecedented achievement. But if you don't, forget future glory. You'll be just another ordinary general, a mere dinner topic for casual conversation. Lu Sheng responded confidently, I have no objections. An old man in the crowd looked at Lu Sheng in shock as Lu Sheng added, In fact, I was rather bored anyway. This is just what I want. Suddenly, a thunderous laugh came from the marshal. Ha ha ha, good. It couldn't be better. He thought to himself, those four words, just what I want, are filled with courage and ambition. It's rare for anyone to possess even a fraction of that. The marshal then shouted, let's begin, everyone. Enter the martial arts arena. This time, all of you can use your weapons in full strength. A person in the crowd muttered, military orders are like mountains. No wonder, the majority bullies the minority. Lu Sheng silently walked toward the arena, all eyes focused on him. A man without a shirt exclaimed in shock, He's empty-handed. His friend replied, Lu Sheng enters the arena empty-handed? Another asked, No weapon? Did he forget it? A girl watched him mesmerized. A guy holding a mop as a weapon muttered, Is he that arrogant? The marshal then asked, Who will go fetch a weapon for General Lu Sheng? Butler Wang eagerly responded, Me! He excitedly ran toward the car to retrieve the enhanced crystalline scarlet draconic spear. But before Butler Wang could return, Lu Sheng interjected, No need, I won't use a weapon. If I do, I'm afraid. Only a few would survive. So I'll fight barehanded. His words echoed throughout the arena, leaving the old man and a green-haired man puzzled. Did he just say, If I do, I'm afraid a few would survive? They thought, startled. Dong Shengyi stood in silence, also taken aback by Lu Sheng's bold statement. Pang Huayu, worried about Lu Sheng, heard his words and thought, Is he serious? The crowd began murmuring in disbelief, Insane! They grew angry, shouting, He's insane! Such arrogance! Does he really think he can take on hundreds of people by himself? The marshal, however, was impressed. This guy is good. Such simple words, yet they reveal a deep level of confidence, he remarked. He could feel the intensity of Lu Sheng's words, thinking to himself, this is it, it's already started. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. As the crowd surrounded Lu Sheng, dark auras began converging on him. But Lu Sheng simply smiled and closed his eyes, unfazed by the ominous energy. Suddenly he shouted, Dong Shengyi. Dong Shengyi replied, speak. An old man near Dong Shengyi, shocked by the call out, pretended he still had some fight left in him. Dong Shengyi walked slowly forward, a dark snake forming from his aura as he prepared to face Lu Sheng. With confidence, Lu Sheng pointed at Dong Shengyi like a playful child and said, Make sure to keep your eyes open. He unleashed his godly aura, causing the dark energy to retreat from him. Smiling, he continued, Watch as I, step by step, sever your martial arts journey. His aura erupted like a nuclear explosion, causing those nearby to shield themselves from the blast. Lu Sheng then stomped the ground his godly energy shattering it into pieces. Rain began to fall, and the weaker members of the crowd were overwhelmed by the pressure of Lu Sheng's aura. One of them struggling to lift his head gasped, 
How is this possible? He just took a step. His friend stammered, We're so terrified by his momentum that we couldn't help but fall to the ground. A doctor nearby, also on the ground, added in disbelief, He didn't use his gang chi, that's pure physical strength. Heavens, they murmured. Lu Shang then raised his hand toward the sky, his godly aura radiating, and a beam of golden light pierced the dark clouds. With a commanding voice, he shouted, Break! The crowd was in shock, and one person, sweating, exclaimed, This, this is? What is this power? Run, quickly. Dong Shengyi stood firm, facing the bright light. Lu Sheng spoke calmly, the force of the first step. As he prepared to punch Dong Shengyi, a massive fist surged towards Dong, head on. Dong Shengyi shielded his eyes from the blinding light, his eyes widening in shock. Is this Lu Sheng's true physical strength? He thought. A burst of energy struck Dong Shengyi. Moments later, his shirt was shredded from the sheer intensity of Lu Sheng's punch. Stunned, he muttered, My force field was shattered by a single impact. How is that possible? The marshal, equally shocked, shouted, That's ridiculous. No star general could withstand even one punch of his physical strength. He's a monster in human form. As Lu Sheng's fist continued to charge with energy, flames burst around him. A voice from the arena shouted, What should we do? We've been beaten down with just one blow. Lu Sheng brushed dust off his shoulder and asked, what are you going to do, surrender? Dong Shengyi rose silently. He declared, A star general can be killed but never humiliated. Everyone, let's work together. I will lead. He then shouted, Gang Chi, take shape, as he drew his spear charging at Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng, take this, he roared, thrusting his spear forward. Lu Sheng, standing on phase, said, Dong Shengyi, next is the second step. He waited for the spear to strike, then calmly said, Defend. Dong Shengyi's spear couldn't even penetrate Lu Sheng's force field. Shocked, Dong Shengyi exclaimed, What? It didn't even break your force field. Suddenly, other contestants rushed to push Dong Shengyi from behind, giving him a boost. We're here to help. Shh, let's break his defense together. We can't let Lu Sheng get too cocky, they cried. Miss Lin Wan Wan, watching in awe, remarked, this is the first time I've seen so many star generals fighting together against one person. I'm afraid only a martial saint could handle this, and Lu Sheng isn't. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Colonel Dong Qingxu stared intently at Lu Sheng, hoping for his victory. Beads of sweat formed on her face as she asked. This is the combined power of the strongest star generals in the entire military division. Will Lu Sheng be okay? Suddenly, an explosion rocked the arena, dust clouds covering the battlefield. Dong Shengyi shouted in excitement, We succeeded! But as the dust settled, Lu Sheng stood there, unmoved, brushing the dust off his chest. What? Were you trying to tickle me? He taunted. A person beside Dong Shengyi muttered, Could it be? He's not only the strongest spear, but also the strongest shield. Dong Shengyi, in disbelief, asked, How is that possible? Lu Sheng's voice echoed through the arena, Next is the third step, Chi. The ground shook, and Lu Sheng's aura intensified, causing the arena to shatter. Dong Shengyi, still stunned, muttered, This is Qi form. Is he so powerful that he can condense his own form through his Qi? As the light from Lu Sheng's Qi grew brighter, he unleashed a wave of energy, sending all the other contestants flying with a cry of, Ah! The marshal, wide-eyed, gasped. This Qi, how many stars of combat power are inside? Thirty, forty, or more? It's impossible to tell. Damn it, everyone but Dong Shengyi has been defeated, someone muttered. Dong Shengyi looked around at his fallen comrades and whispered, How could he? Suddenly, Lu Sheng appeared behind Dong Shengyi, looming over him. The fourth step skill, he said ominously. Dong Shengyi, trembling, asked, Ah! Frozen in fear, he watched Lu Sheng prepare another punch. Lu Sheng's voice was calm but deadly as he said, One inch punch! His fist struck Dong Shengyi's stomach, forcing him to cough up the remains of his lunch with a cry of, Ugh! Dong Shengyi collapsed to the ground in pain, gasping. Lu Sheng looked down at him and asked, Dong Shengyi, do you think that's enough? As Dong Shengyi trembled in agony, Lu Sheng walked away, muttering, Looks like you aren't listening anymore. Dong Shengyi lay unconscious on the floor. The marshal, dripping with sweat, was dumbstruck. He eliminated him with a single punch, that is... A great master with the Four Realms boxing skill. An officer nearby exclaimed, What? Four Realms? Uh, his friend added, The pinnacle of martial arts skills. 
something only a martial saint can reach. The marshal in disbelief sank into his chair and muttered, I originally thought he had a chance to take the stage, but I never expected. A god has been born. A legendary general of the Eastern Military Division. This boy will be remembered. No matter if he steps back or forward, he would be a true saint either way. With that short fight, the Eastern Military Division competition had come to an end. Lu Shang won the competition. That was the brief mention in the Military Division Daily regarding the results of the Eastern Military Division competition. By that point, Lu Sheng had already become famous throughout the entire military of the Dragon Nation. In a different scene, Butler Wang said to Lu Sheng, Sir, the weapon you wanted to build and upgrade is complete. Please check it out. Lu Sheng examined the weapon and said, Oh, not bad. More than 90% of it is made from dense gold, and the rare materials mixed into it are not inferior to the gold either. This weapon has reached rank 8. Good. Butler Wang added, By the way, Sir Lu, the military competition will begin soon. The marshal said you can leave in the next few days, and the military will provide a special plane for you. Lu Sheng walked away with his new weapon and replied, No, I'm going home. I'll arrive a day or two earlier. Butler Wang said, Sir, then I will take my leave and not disturb you. Lai Dai watched Lu Sheng leaving, and she suddenly called out, Wait, sir. Lu Sheng looked back, and Lai Dai said, Sir, you are going to the Central Military Division competition, right? I wish to accompany you there. Lu Sheng thought to himself, Starting now? He responded, Sure. Lai Dai said, Thank you, sir, as she smirked, a plan forming in her mind. Lu Sheng replied, what are you thanking me for? You have to accompany me and wait on me. He smirked as well with his own plan in mind. He suddenly smiled and added, I should be the one thanking you. Lai Dai, shocked and sweating, stammered, No, sir. Lu Sheng said, I'm going out for a while. Get ready. Lai Dai responded, Yes, sir. A few moments later outside, Lu Sheng and Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Su walked in the park, holding each other's hands. Lu Sheng said, Ching Su, I'm going home before the competition begins. Will you come too? Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Su replied, Not this time. You cut off my big brother's martial arts journey. My family knows, and I have to return. Lu Sheng said, Do you want me to accompany you back? Actually, Dong Sheng Yi's current situation isn't necessarily bad. He had high aspirations, but the path to becoming a martial saint is brutal. He didn't realize that his talent and skills weren't enough for that path. If he hadn't met me, he would have encountered someone stronger sooner or later. And then he might have lost not only his self-esteem, but also his life. I've cut off that path now. If he finds his way out of the darkness, he might have a better chance. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu said, I don't quite understand your words, but I'll tell him. Lu Sheng added, By the way, I'll probably do something similar to your older brother, Dong Po Tian. During the Central Military Division competition, why don't you speak with him? Otherwise, he might end up like Dong Shengyi. Lieutenant Colonel Dong Ching Shu hesitated, then sighed. Okay, I'll talk to him later. She hugged Lu Sheng and smiled happily, thinking to herself, with his power, maybe Lu Sheng really can do it. In a different scene at the high speed rail, Lu Sheng sat alone looking outside. A beautiful stewardess approached and said, Hello, sir. Do you need any help? Lu Sheng replied, No need. Go about your tasks. In the back of the room, the stewardesses whispered to each other, Wow, this man is so handsome and so young, exactly like the young marshals from the comics. Lovely. Her friend added, See, as I said, all the handsome guys are in the military. Why are the handsome ones defending the nation instead of being celebrities? The other stewardess responded, It's the status and power. I heard this position was created just for him. As Lai Dai listened to them from a distance, Lu Sheng suddenly called out, Lai Dai, the tea is cold. Please pour me another cup. Li Dai replied, Yes, sir. In the tea room, Li Di used the tea dispenser to pour some hot tea. She suddenly slipped something into Lu Sheng's cup and stared at it closely, her expression serious and tense. A few moments later, Li Di handed over the hot tea to Lu Sheng and said, Sir, your tea. Lu Sheng, engrossed in his phone, said, I'm going through some messages. Put it aside for now. He thought to himself, He Ling Su, the Chen, it's time to go and help her. Lu Sheng frowned slightly. Ching is not rank 4 yet, right? How can she sleep peacefully with such low power? I need to increase the difficulty of her training fivefold. A smile crept onto his face. A delightful decision. He continued scrolling through his phone, looking at pictures of his future wives. 
A few minutes later, Lai Dai said, Sir, the tea is getting cold. Lu Shong, still focused on his phone, remarked, Lai Dai, you've never been so eager for me to drink tea before. Lai Dai, sweating, responded, Sir wanted hot tea earlier. I was worried it would get cold before you could drink it. Lu Sheng took the cup and said, Is that so? He began to drink the tea while Lai Dai watched him intently, her expression calm and patient. Lu Sheng remarked, Not bad, Lai Dai. This is the tastiest tea you've made so far, unaware that she had simply taken it from a machine. Lai Dai responded, As long as Sir likes it, that's good news. I'll be in the bathroom. Call me if you need anything, Sir. She then walked out. In the back of the room, Lai Dai sighed with relief. She whispered to herself, a wicked grin forming, My mission is complete. This is a genetic poison from a rank 9 otherworldly beast. Even the strongest experts can't hold on for a minute. Even if the poison fails to kill a rank 9 martial saint, it will gravely damage their vitality, leaving them with permanent injuries. Just one more minute, and I'll be free, out of the military's control, away from this humble, boring life. I'll go to a new place and start a new life. She envisioned her new future as she reached for the door, but as her hand touched the handle, a sudden sharp pain shot through her fingers. She cried out, Ah, what's going on? It's burning! Lu Sheng's calm voice echoed through the room. Interesting, right? It's called a psychic illusion. Just a little trick I recently learned. He poured the remaining hot tea onto her hands. Lai Dai trembled, shock spreading across her face. Sir, she stammered. Sir, you're a master of martial arts. I, I've witnessed it with my own eyes. Her voice wavered as she collapsed to the ground, her forehead pressed against the floor. Lu Sheng looked down at her, a hint of amusement in his voice. I also learned a lot today. I didn't expect that in this era, a poison capable of influencing a martial saint would exist. He chuckled softly. The saint's ruin, not a bad name, don't you think, Lai Dai? Thanks for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you who took the time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. If you enjoyed what you saw, consider sharing my videos or channel with your friends who might also enjoy it. Your support means the world to me and helps my channel grow. Let's keep this community thriving together. Until next time, see you in the next video.